Yes, sir. Who, who are you? Um, my name is Luis and I'm from Portugal. Hi, dear. I'm uh, here in Bilbao today at the Mycology Festival, almost yeah. called Mushroom Festival. I'm uh, more or less in charge of uh, naming what we already identified yesterday. The, all, all I've been uh, filming here have all been found yesterday in Kiligar. In yeah, we, we collected except the truffle. All of them were collected here. Right. How many species have you got here? A uh, bunch of them, I don't know. <laughs> Say roughly, is there 50? Yeah. 50 maybe? Yeah, around that, uh, around that number. And uh, for sure there will be more species today. Yes, yeah. So it's just started to rain. Does that make a difference to mushrooms? Will more come out or will more go in? Yeah, more will go a bit uh, to the soil, get yeah. spoiled. But lots of them will be stimulated to sprout again. Right, right. So some will come out that weren't around yeah. yesterday. That's like a cycle. Yeah, so that's sort of a, a good effect of the weather then maybe, perhaps. Even, yeah, right. Well, thanks the, very much. the mushrooms are around, the good spirit is around. Yeah, it's good. very much so, yeah. Uh, are, are these, you say you're from Portugal, like what, what you're looking at here, what you've collected, a lot different from the mushrooms you get in Portugal or much the same? Some of them are different, especially the, the ones that uh, are ectomycorrhizical. Just you say that again? The what? Especially the ones that are ectomycorrhizical. Which is what? What is that? For instance, the lactarius, the rufulas, the laxinum. Some of them they are a bit different. Right, right. Because the vegetation changes a bit, the climate changes a bit. Of course, yeah. So the species. Well, it's a lot hotter in Portugal, isn't it? So you're going to get. It's a lot hotter in Portugal than here. Yeah. Would you get as much rain as we get? Not as much, but it depends on the regions. In the south region, yeah, it's more Mediterranean climate, so it's a bit different. And so In the north region is more Atlantic, uh, Atlantic climate, so there is so more species that overlap in the north than in the south. Right, right, right. That's very interesting. Right. <laughs> and what's the most popular mushroom? Here, do you think? This one. This one here. This one, this one, and this one, and this one. Yes. One, two, three, four delicious ones. Just give me the names of them as you as we started this one. What, what, what is this one? This one is the Lactarius Deliciosus. Okay. And it's uh, the milk cap. And it's uh, said to be very delicious. The French and the Catalan people, they like it a lot. Okay. The next one? This one is the Cantarelle Lucibarius. This one here. And it's Chantrelle. This big orange one here. Yes. Yes. It's also Chantrelle. It's a yeah. completely different mushroom from yeah. uh, most of the rest ones. Okay. And uh, it's also very delicious. The French love it. Everybody loves this one, I think. Okay. As well. This one is the truffle. Oh, that's the truffle. Right. It's a summer truffle. Yeah. It's a yeah. Stevo. Yeah. So it's the least said, said to be very, very delicious. It's the least looking mushroom in the whole lot, isn't it? It's the what? It doesn't look as mushroomy as the rest of them. Yeah, it's, a bit yeah, it's the most famous one. It's a bit different, it? typical mushroom. It's not a, it, grows in the, it grows in the soil. It's a, it's, it's spore spread with the, with the. Um, with the pigs, with, with the with the animals that are scavengers. Yes, yeah. So it has a bit of different ecology from the rest of the of the other ones. And what was the other one you mentioned? What was the? The other one that you mentioned. There. This one. This one here. Bolite dulis. Bolite dulis. It's the, the set. It's the king bolite. King, king bullet. King bullet, right. The Italians call it uh, yeah. Fungi Porcini, it's very famous. Right, right. And there's some lovely little groupings here, like these two. <laughs> I mean, they're amazing the way they're all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're very young, are they? They're, yeah. they're very beautiful ones. Are they tasty? Or well, they, they are toxic. I never tasted them, but. Yes, uh, they're toxic. They're toxic. <laughs> Says here, toxic. Yes, I wasn't looking at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to say poisonous. I think you've got a much, a much better chance if you say poisonous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it all, all depends on the uh, on the amount of uh, of the substance that you eat, huh? Yes, yeah. Something. So most of these then aren't uh, aren't toxic. It's only these two. Yeah. So these this, these ones here are yeah. toxic. These ones, it's yeah. the same species, and these ones is a different species. So in terms of toxicity or poisonous, uh, what sort of, would you have to eat a lot of them to have an effect on you? Depends on the weight of the person, 
and uh, it depends on the on the mushroom itself. Some populations of mushrooms are more toxic than others. But for instance, these ones, I think uh, if you eat like a bunch of these, you'll be you'll be intoxicated. You'll be in deep trouble, I think. Right. And is it a, a poison that has an effect on your nervous system or on your movement? This one is more a digestible track. So it's like a, you have a vomit, you have a, a maybe diarrhea. Right. You have nausea, probably, and not so, so not, not so much in the not so much in the liver. It, this one is still yet to, to be studied because some people had some people died from the from this uh, from right. this uh, right. intoxication of this mushroom. So, as as part of your training, are you you familiar with um, recuperative methods if, if people were to be affected by these or? Uh, if, if I'm trained with what? Uh, from a first aid point of view, would you have a knowledge of how to deal with people if they suddenly... Well, the, be the, the, the first thing to do is to, to take out whatever you, you ingest. Right. So, charcoal, is the, what they do first in the, the hospital, or uh, forced, uh, forced vomits, and, uh, well, everything that you can do to clean up the, the body from, the, from the, the rest of the mushroom that are still inside. Right, right. And then, uh, it depends on the, on the fungi that you ate, on the, on the species. And every, each each uh, group of species provocates a syndrome, and um, then it, uh, it depends a lot on, uh, on each syndrome, the way that you treat it. Right. Right, right. Well, thanks very much indeed. Just give me your name again. Uh, my name is Luis Morgado. I'm from Portugal and I work in the Netherlands at the moment. That's great.